I am so, so excited. So, so excited. Cause you know you popping, yeah. You got it, girl. You got it. Hey, my beautiful Empyras. Welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel for all my lovely and wonderful friends and supporters. I love you so, 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 so much. Today's video is a super, super exciting one. Guess what I got? I received a box full of makeup from Focaler. I cannot believe it. I have seen this company all over Facebook, all over Instagram. I've seen lots of people using these products and their palettes look so dreamy. So I am so excited that they sent me a whole bunch of stuff to try and show on my channel. So thank you so, so much. I appreciate it with everything in me. I never thought the day would come that little old me would be getting sent makeup to try and promote on my channel. It is just a dream come true for me. I love makeup, I always have. Makeup is like a comfort to me. Makeup helps me with my anxiety, it relaxes me. And I just always have been a very creative person from poems to canvas art with paint. I love doing anything creative. I love making stuff. So creating things on my face has always been something I love. Recently in the past year, I've gotten into SFX makeup. So that's another way that I can express myself. This is so exciting that I get to try new products and just see how they work. So I'm gonna show you the products I got and then I'm gonna show you how I created this look. My first time using these products right after I show you what I got. So the first thing I got was this Focaler Perfect Face Matte Primer. Now normally I wouldn't use a matte primer but it comes out clear and when you put it on the skin it actually looks like it blurs out some of the pores and it has like a real slip to it like a silicone feeling. If you're into that you will definitely like this product. And then I also got the blush highlight and contour palette. I'm wearing it today this is what it looks like the inside it has a little compact mirror which is great for travel you got the contour color the blush and then the little highlight show you a quick swatchy swatch very much like neapolitan so there's the colors right there the contour the blush and the highlight and then I also got one of their pigments to try. I love anything sparkly or shimmery. This one's in the color number 10 copper. It's on my eyelids right now. It's almost like a gold foil, ultra pearl, pure color. It looks like this. It's got a very cool texture. It kind of feels like spongy. This is what it looks like. Let me give you a little swatcheroo. It is very, very messy, but what loose pigments aren't. So this is what the color looks like on my hand. Is that not so stunning? I have it on with glitter glue, which makes it pop even more. I also received a mascara, the volume and length mascara. Look at this sleek packaging. It is so beautiful and I'm wearing it right now and I really love it. I have issues with if any mascara clumps on me, I cannot use it. This did not clump and it really gives me like a doll-like look. I love that my lashes look so fanned out and long with this mascara. I also got a eyeliner. I'm not wearing it today, but I'm definitely going to try it in another video. Very black. It went on very smooth. It's just a nice felt tip liner. Super excited to use this. My daughter uses eyeliner every day. So I'll definitely let her try it out because she is the eyeliner connoisseur. And then I got a lipstick in the color Milan Mode number 12. It's not really my perfect color, but you never know what kind of shades you might want to use. It did melt a little bit in the cap, which is unfortunate, but this is the color here like a pink magenta this would be fun for some of my sfx looks i can definitely see myself finding some kind of use for this and then last but not least the most exciting part of the whole package is the palette i've been dying to try their palettes i've seen so many beautiful palettes that look similar to other high-end palettes and they're for like a fraction of the cost and i've been wondering what they're like and i'll tell you a little secret they're amazing. I could not believe how easily this blended on the eyes, how well the colors work together. There was little to no fallout. This is the palette I got. It's called Impressionisms. It does come with a mirror. We're gonna cover that up so I don't blind you 
look at these colors is this not my color scheme these are the colors i'm wearing right now i have on this one this one this one and this one i'm dying to try these colors up here next look i do with this palette i will definitely use these colors up here in that beautiful eyeliner so i'm just going to show you some quick swatches just to see how the color translate onto the skin and then we'll get into this tutorial so here are the swatches of the impressionism palette by focaler i just want to show you in natural daylight i'm in front of a window right now look at how gorgeous the pigmentation is how smooth and creamy they are i definitely highly recommend but the test is really how they perform on the eye sometimes swatches just don't really tell you how they're going to perform on the eye sometimes the swatches can be amazing and they don't perform at all on the eyes. Sometimes the swatches can be not very good and they perform amazing on the eyes. So if you want to see how I got this look and see everything in action, then please just keep watching. Okay, so we're going to start out with pumpkin pie for our transition shade. Just use a big fluffy brush, dive into pumpkin pie. Ooh, that's very nice. It has like an orangey yellow tint to it. blending beautifully it's not getting stuck on my lids all I used was concealer on my lids I usually use just concealer or the essence I love eye stage primer this is going on very nicely no issues blending super happy with that shade and next next we're gonna go with the shade cookie right here nice like warm toned brown Put that a little bit lower than you put the shade pumpkin pie. All right, next we're gonna go in with dark coral here, the beautiful orange. And I'm using a little bit more of a dense brush and going directly into the crease. blending like a dream super pigmented not seeing any patchiness super excited so far I know that they have uh, Focaler has a lot of palettes that look similar to higher end palettes like the Huda Beauty palette that I've really been wanting but I just can't bring myself to spend $86 plus tax on a palette and now that I know Focaler has pigmented palettes I'm definitely looking forward to trying more we're gonna go back in with the dark coral. We're going to put a little bit on the inner and outer portion of the lid. I'm sure most of you know how to do a halo eye, but in case you don't, in case you get this palette and you wanna follow along, but I can't get enough warm tones. My daughter and I both love them, so we go through them like you wouldn't believe. Next, I'm gonna try the color Merlot right here. all so beautiful Alrighty. pack that on right in the crease I'm loving how this is looking so far I've been really loving more darker warm tone looks normally I wouldn't go this dark but lately I've been loving to put like a red shimmer on the lid or like a darker copper on the lid where before I would always use like a gold and more warmer neutrals on the eye. But I am feeling this. We're gonna go back in with the big fluffy brush and take pumpkin pie again and just go over everything to make sure it's really nicely blended. like a dream look at that no really harsh lines super happy with this palette so far if it lasts on the eyes all day doesn't come off patchy or anything this could be my new favorite palette because these are definitely my kind of colors I'm really actually excited to try a look with these blues but I don't think the blues would go with this copper pigment well they could but it just kind of made me want to do a warm tone look. 
Who am I kidding? You know I was gonna do a warm tone look. When don't I, right? Even this like olive green martini olive, I don't have anything like that in my other palettes. So I'm gonna have some fun doing something like that. I have like brighter greens like in the James Charles palette, but I don't have anything like that. I'm gonna go back in with Merlot and this smaller brush and just pack the color on the lid a little bit more. gonna go on the brow bone and use the color marshmallow right here just kind of softly blend around the edges the little tip I have for you is if you feel like your lines aren't blended or your eyeshadow got brought up a little too high or it's looking a little too not blown out the way you'd want it to be go over it with like a cream or a white shade and you see how it all just kind of fades in now. I think I'm gonna use concealer to make this pigment stick. Hopefully that works, otherwise I can use glitter glue. try with a brush first go in with the copper pigment these remind me of the NYX pigments just the packaging right, no, that's not applying too well with that brush let's try a sponge tip applicator Goodness gracious it's like gold flakes on your lid it's so interesting it's kind of falling all over my face I have to pick up a little less very pretty though, very shiny. They're just a little messy to apply, but super beautiful. I mean, glitters and stuff, anything loose is usually messy. Normal. You see, it's kind of all over my cheeks. So that's how it looks without any glitter glue. Get it up off my cheeks. Yeah. It's kind of smearing. I'm gonna go back into the palette and use a little bit of dark coral and Merlot. Just on the inner and outer portion, just to blend it together a little bit. So let's definitely use glitter glue on the other side. We'll go in with concealer first and then we'll use the glitter glue. with this sticky brush. Let's try. Let's see how that works. Let's try again with the sponge tip applicator. It looks a lot more pigmented and like metallic looking with the glitter glue. looks like I have gold flakes on my eyelid it's very different very cool it gives like a totally different effect than on this side let's see if I use a brush if we can just brush it away so it doesn't smear into my face uh, still there maybe do your eyes if you're using a loose pigment maybe do your eyes first and then your face makeup I think I'm gonna go back over this one with some glitter glue so that they match. Cause this one is so foiled and crazy and this one's more like a nice sheen, shimmer. Both look beautiful, just depending on what look you're going for. Glitter glue is definitely your best bet when it comes to this product. You get the most payoff. 
I wonder if Focalor has their own like pigment glue. Actually, NYX has their own pigment glue. This glue is glitter glue, but there's one that's specific for pigments. I don't have it, but maybe I should pick it up and try it out. I'm gonna go back in with dark coral right here for the lower lash line and then below. This is dark coral. We're gonna do that the entire lower lash line. I don't find any fallout with these shadows, which is amazing. And with Merlot, we're gonna focus that more on the outer portion of the lower lash line. Then I think we're just gonna use the color Marshmallow for the inner corner. There isn't really an inner corner highlight color in this palette. Next, we're gonna try this blush, highlight, and contour palette. It looks like this in the box. It also has a mirror, and these are the colors, the highlight, the blush, and the contour. So let's try this out. It's very pigmented, goes on nice, it's not patchy. warm tone but not too much I would definitely use it I don't know if this pink blush is gonna go with my look right now pink blushes are not really something I normally would use but just for the sake of the video I'm definitely gonna try it and see how their formula is the pink blush it's very very bright it's very like baby doll pink I love the packaging, how everything's just black, sleek, simple. So this is the liner. I'm not gonna be able to use a liner either with this look. I'm definitely gonna try this in another video. I don't wanna add a liner to this look. I already have all this shimmer there and I think it's just gonna mess it up. But I'm looking forward to trying this. I'm always looking for a good black liner. And then we're gonna try this mascara, volume and length. This is what the brush looks like. It doesn't come out with a lot of product on the brush, which is really good because I usually wipe off my mascara brushes on Kleenex before I use them. Because I'm really bad for pulling my lashes out when mascara's on them. If there's any type of feeling of clumping. Oh wow. Look at that. That's actually really nice. It's making my lashes look really long. like this mascara I think it makes my lashes look really pretty they're like doll like they're very fanned out and long I wouldn't say it's as much volumizing as it is lengthening but I like it this mascara is very very pretty I'm very happy with that I think this is like a beautiful look and one last thing to try and that's the highlight in this palette here let's go into the highlight it's very, mm, it's very subtle it's pretty but it's subtle it has like an icy light pink sort of shade to it you can definitely see it on the camera all right guys and gals so i think that's gonna be it i tried pretty much everything except the black eyeliner which i will definitely use in another video on a different look maybe with the blues and the greens from that palette would be nice and then the lipstick color those are the only two things i didn't try i definitely would recommend this mascara my eyelashes look beautiful it's dark black it's not irritating my eyes and it makes them look really long and doll like i love this the loose pigment it's messy, but when aren't they? The color is definitely beautiful. The blush, highlight, and contour palette. I really like it. It's beautiful. It blends nicely. I love their formula. Like, they killed it with the formula. But the standout product for me definitely has to be this palette. I am so excited to try other palettes from their company because this was gorgeous. It went on like a dream no complaints here i would definitely highly recommend so thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up it really helps out my channel lets me know that you're enjoying my content and until the next time thanks so much for watching bye